Thanks, Andy. We're living in a world where one bad tweet can end a career, and last weekend's Facebook photos just might cost you the corner office. Uh, well, with so many social media outlets, managing your online reputation is trickier and more important than it's ever been. So we've asked employment expert Kevin Johnson of Robert Half International to walk us through the top five tips for keeping your online reputation on track. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you very much. Okay, let's talk. Is it common <coughs> practice now for employers to Google potential applicants? these days? Definitely not uncommon. I mean, all that information is obviously out there and uh, uh, people can, can take advantage of it, take a look. Uh, what are you representing yourself as publicly? Mm -hmm, absolutely. Okay, so let's go through some of these tips here. And one of the important things uh, for people applying for jobs or, you know, just being online, period, is to clean up what you have out there. How do you do that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, take a bit of a discerning eye. Like you said, it's maybe not the best opportunity to throw your Mexico vacation pictures in there. Right. If you're, especially if you're applying for a job or even if you're looking for a promotion, it's not that uncommon for people to take a look. So make sure that the image that is portrayed online is what you really want really want it to be, sorry. Right, okay, so it's a matter of what you want your employer to see. And that is a tricky thing to navigate, especially, you know, Facebook is a private forum in some ways, but uh, having those personal pictures out there is maybe not in your best interest. Yeah, and personal pictures are fine. I mean, it, as long as, again, it, it portrays what you want it to be. If you live an active lifestyle, if you're a marathoner, we saw the ads uh, for the Calgary Marathon coming mm -hmm. up. Um, you know, that's great. That That's a piece of what you are, but uh, just make sure, again, that the negative images are maybe are, are taken away or at least uh, are removed for a little bit of time. Okay, fantastic. Uh, let's talk about privacy settings. This is important, and you can control what people are able to see. Yeah, and they change over time, so I think that's something to be cognizant of as well. Uh, LinkedIn, as an example, just had some recent changes to their privacy and policy, uh, policy settings, so you have to look at those on a frequent basis. Um, you know, we definitely recommend to people that you keep things fairly tight uh, to the community that you want to have access directly to your profile. Uh, if you've got some public settings that, uh, where anybody can see it, just again, make sure that it's consistent with the image that you want to portray. Okay, fantastic. And, you know, that anybody can tag photos of you as well. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Things to keep an eye on. Okay, be discreet and use your judgment. You'd think that this is a no-brainer, but you not necessarily. Yeah, you would think it is, but, you know, we certainly have, uh, we're aware of a number of people that have missed out on jobs or missed out on promotions because of, uh, of something that they've maybe left behind or, like you say, a, a photo that's maybe been tagged on somebody else's website. Hmm. Um, it's surprising in, the, in how much, uh, how often we use that tool that it's still mismanaged by a number of people. Okay, fantastic. Uh, network wisely when using professional networking sites. Yeah, we've got, uh, you know, LinkedIn is a very common website, especially within the professional ranks. Uh, so it's, it's important that when you are accepting invitations or sending out invitations, uh, that you're, again, associating yourselves with the kind of people you'd like to be known to associating yourself with. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of rabbit holes you can get down if you uh, just go uh, attaching yourself to anybody you'd like or right. uh, just accepting invitations from anybody. Okay, that's a diplomatic way of putting it. <laughs> so when it comes to LinkedIn, you want to keep it professional. Absolutely. I think that's the one website that... Uh, keep it as professional as possible. That's what people tend to use it for. Mm -hmm. uh, use more uh, some of the other social media tools like Twitter or Facebook uh, for more of the social aspects of what you're trying to do. Okay, fantastic. Uh, number five, monitor the conversation. How do we do this? You know, take a, a look at the conversations that you're, you're either starting or being involved in. I think uh, when, especially when people are taking a look at candidates that are applying for roles, they like to see what they've posted in the past. That, that indicates the kinds of things you're interested in. Mm -hmm. And as much commentary as you can add to that is really important as well. So rather than just always uh, liking or retweeting information, make sure that you add some value in there as well that's going to set you apart from other candidates. Okay, fantastic. Important to uh, monitor your social reputation, your online reputation, and uh, you have these conversations with people who are seeking employment. This is a topic of conversation. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, on the forefront of lots of people's minds. Uh, Kevin, thank you so much. Thank you. From Robert Half International, keeping your online profile as clean